one of the best ways to to embody empathy is to hold space. Mm -hmm. uh, it allows us to let the other person know that they're being seen, heard, and gotten. And we're going to say that a lot because it's so very important. And when you break it down, that's really what a vast, I'd like to say everyone, but I'm going to say a vast majority of everyone <laughs> um, would like uh, because ultimately, I mean, that, that is when we are seen, heard, and gotten, it does, it does help a lot. And I want to give a shout out to Dr. Rosie Kuhn yes. because she is the one who brought forward the whole flow of seen, heard, and gotten yes. that we use a lot. She's an amazing member of our Suivera team, and we're just grateful for her. But that's something you'll hear mm -hmm. her say all the time, and now it's kind of ended up in our in our language. So, you know, thank you, Rosie. Thank you, Rosie. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's where being able to to breathe in that empathy into into holding space. And allowing that growth to occur, whether that, because growth can be a movement forward, as we were talking about, but growth in in sustaining, like like staying put and integrating, uh, that is in many ways that still is growth, right? Because it's saying, okay, now that I have this understand, this new awareness and this new understanding, I need to understand how to actually maintain this, so this isn't just a a, a one and done or a burnout, right? Yeah. Um, because we can move so forward and we can get so excited about personal growth and then burn out and be like, oh, and then we go way back. And we take, you know, instead of taking two steps forward, you know, we're taking two steps backwards and then that's not going to help anyone. So we need that space to, to, to just, you know, to be able to hold space, not only for our partner, but also for ourselves and that it's okay to be in a paused state that integrating that is still action in many ways. And empathy across the board is important because if I don't feel like you can feel where I am, which is a little different, sometimes it does just boil down to sympathy. Like I might not understand where you are or have gone through it, but I can at least hold space for it. So sympathy and empathy, I think, can be somewhat interchangeable in this one but always to at least be willing to connect with your partner mm -hmm. or the person that you are in whatever type of relationship with and say, even if I can't have a personal connection with that and I don't exactly have an awareness of it, I can at least sympathize with where you are and say, I don't know where you are because I've never been there, but I am sure that must be hard. And I am certain that you must be going through something that is keeping you in the feeling that you're in. So let me be here with you, even if I can't 100% understand where you are, mm -hmm. because that's the unconditional love I have for you. Yeah. And what a beautiful space of trust. I mean, you can, because in those moments that we aren't feeling 100% or we feel like, Maybe we feel like we're lost or we're a part, like as we're expanding our awareness, we're recognizing a version of ourself that maybe we don't like. Mm -hmm. I've been there. And it's like, whoa, um, you know, I could feel insecure. I could then start to feel like, well, oh my gosh, I know this about me. Does she know this about me? And, you know, is, if she doesn't, like, is she going to leave me? Or, you know, there's all these things that we can think about that flow in that way. And that was one of the best things that you provided uh, and continue to provide in our relationship is a sense of, is this empathy because I feel like I trust you through that. And because of that, that is, that is trust in action that I feel like I can be vulnerable, that I can share where I'm at. I can share my insecurities. I can be human and, you know, not recognize like, Hey, I'm not perfect. And I'm, I'm going through these things. And when you are there to listen and to love, through that process, then I feel like I come, I become stronger on the other side. And that's a huge thing. Then I'm not just getting over it or suppressing it. Like I'm actually moving through it. And therefore at the end of it, I can show up and be even at a greater capacity in our relationship and to you than I ever have been before. So what a beautiful thing and vice versa, right? I love that. Yeah.